Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what are you manifesting right now? What is it that is in your vibrational frequency that is coming to you? It could be a relationship, something to do with your career, an event, your family. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. And let's get straight into your reading and meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. And this would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what you are manifesting to you right now. This could represent your career, your finances, your family, a lover, or even a event. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Your energy, you're naturally drawn here to your card with the blue and red energy, the hearts, and then you have the sunflowers here. I do want to point out that the sun is significant here, just starting out in your reading. What I'm picking up is the zodiac sign of Leo. It's significant here because the sun does rule over Leo. It is the only zodiac sign ruled by the sun. And Leo is significant because it could represent the top placements of your birth chart, and the sun, moon, or rising sign, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. Or it could be significant in the birth chart of someone that will show up here in your reading. You did pick the color orange here. And with orange, I do want to point out that orange, it's a mix of red and yellow. Orange combines the passion of the former with the positivity of the latter. Bright and vibrant oranges are fun colors that burst with youthfulness, energy, and happiness. They inspire creativity and uplift people's mood. Golden oranges also exude a sense of luxury and prestige. So that is quite significant here, the color orange. Let's see what your card says. It says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So I'm picking up that there's going to be a change, a shift in a relationship dynamic that you are currently experiencing. And this shift is going to come about as a form of acceptance here. So something you have been wanting to happen for a long time, you have been wanting to get along with someone and this is happening for you. You are managing, you are managing this relationship quite nicely with your energy and allowing the gift of forgiveness to shine through here. So if this is something that you are manifesting right now. This is going to be a smooth transition because it has previously been rocky and you are simply over the drama where you are just now wanting to accept yourself as the way you are and accept this person as they are. But you are clearly understanding that you will not be able to change this person. And if this is a, a situation that is toxic in nature, you will naturally move away from it with kindness and tact and let this person go with love and gentleness. 
Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are you attracting to you right now? What are you attracting? And you have here the Four of Swords. So with the Four of Swords, this is communication. This is air, zodiac sign, energy, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements of the birth chart that I did mention earlier. And with that communication there, I love seeing the Four of Swords showing up here because this is really about time for you to retreat to renew. So I see that you're attracting a vacation, a staycation, as a matter of fact, where you're going to stay a lot longer than you intend to stay, maybe a week or two more. But this is going to be a time for you to regroup, to renew your energy, and to just really be in solitude for a while, to recover from some things that were, you know, causing you frustration and discord in your spirit. So you are attracting balance here. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. So what are you manifesting to you right now? What are you manifesting to you? Goddess, the goddess energy, healing feminine frequency energy here. Thank you, spirit. And with the healing feminine energy, I love this showing up because this is a nice confirmation here. The goddess energy and the four of swords showing up together is confirmative. Thank you, spirit, that yes, you are radiating here in your goddess essence, really taking care of yourself. Self-care is your top priority eating the foods that are high in nutrition and drinking the drinks that really nourish your body and replenish your cells the way that, in a way that will quench your thirst, leaving you more nutritious and leaving you more satisfied here. Thank you, Spirit. And I can also see that there is some pampering that's going to take place oh, with you getting your nails done, your hair done, and even a massage. I see that you have looked in to booking yourself a massage or this is something that you're thinking about and spirit is encouraging you to let go and to go get that massage because that massage is going to allow you to raise your vibrational frequency even higher and open the floodgates of prosperity for you. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And what are you attracting to you right now? What are you attracting? What are you manifesting to you right now? And you have here the Knight of Swords. So this is someone that's coming into your life, a great communicator. I love seeing the Knight of Swords showing up in combination with the Four of Swords. So this is really about communication. You're attracting someone in your life. It is a divine masculine energy. And this a person, he's a very fast talker. He's a very fast talker, but he's entering into your life and it's going to represent a lifestyle change for you. So something that this person does have to offer you is quite significant and it aligns with your dreams, your career, and your goals. So this masculine energy that is coming in, yes, he is a fast talker, but you will know him by the fruits of his labor because he does walk in what he talks. He is the real deal. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are you attracting to you right now? What are you manifesting? Courage. I love the courage energy showing up for you because simply here, courage, it, it is really how you have been asking spirit. You have been saying, let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. So yes, because you have, you have asked, it is given. And you are wanting to be more courageous, but you already have it. And now that you know you have it, you are aligned with your higher energy of courage. So there is more self-assurance, self-love, self-respect, and unconditional love that is here for you in the form of strength, self-love. I love this showing up for you because 
this is a clear indication that you really are, have been wanting to make yourself priority, put yourself first as you should, because your cup should always be filled. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You cannot help someone who cannot help themselves. And I know this relationship that we got here earlier, where you've been trying and trying and trying to help this person so much, but it, it, it's impossible because this person would need to want to help themselves. And so you're going to be free from that burden of feeling obligated to that relationship connection. Thank you, Spirit. And let's get more. What are you attracting to you right now? Aries. With Aries showing up, this is a bit of a radical energy. Aries being that, that fiery, spontaneous, creative energy. Aries, very passionate, enthusiastic, and temperamental. Aries energy you are attracting here to you. So I can definitely see you are more assertive with your dreams. You are more um, exhilarating, having lots more energy here. You're on a mission and you're on a boss babe mission, okay? Because Aries does represent um, that that spark, being courageous as well. So this is a nice correlation with the courage card that did show up. Aries exudes that sparking, driving force, but yet and still, there's this innocence about you, this loving, warm, patient innocence coupled with a, a an exhilarating drive to do more, to be more, to create more. And that is in perfect alignment with your higher self because your higher self is very creative, very driven. And what I love about the Aries energy showing up because it matches perfect here with the Knight of Swords that is coming into your life. So now you'll have that equal energy that this Knight of Swords does bring to the relationship connection. You're self-starting now. Continue with that goal. Continue with that idea of starting that business. You've had that idea for quite some time now push forward, work, work on something, work, you know, a few minutes or an hour a day, every day on that side hustle, because it's going to pay off for you big time. And let's get more. Thank you, spirit. What are you manifesting to you right now? What are you manifesting to you right now? Sensitivity. With sensitivity showing up, this is significant because the sensitivity energy, it lays naturally under the four of sort. And I love it here because the frequency of sensitivity, it helps you to open to the world of subtly and detail while anchoring in a structural foundation and it thus supporting you to become more fully multi-dimensional. And isn't this what Spirit has been saying all along here in your reading? There is multi-dimensional energy here across the board. You are unbothered with the full of swords energy, shaking the haters, the naysayers, and the doubters you are shaking them off so easily now. And I am so proud of you here. Spirit is so amazed at your strength and courage. So this multidimensional energy, as you are aligned with, does have the greatest, greatest, greatest respect from your higher self. Your higher self sees you as this very fierce yet impulsive person. So be very conscious because you can be a bit argumentative. And remember, the arguments get you nowhere. The power is in the silence, the belief, and the movement. And so group one, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. And they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. 
If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. This is how you can support the channel. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful Goop Chew. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what you are manifesting to you right now. And what is the law of attraction bringing to you? It could be a relationship connection, something to do with your finances, your bag getting bigger, or even an event. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. And so please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. And let's get straight into your reading. And I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to your card representing the teal blue color here. I do want to point out that with teal blue being your choice of color, this is very clear that this is about open communication and clarity of thought, morality, and renewal. Let's see what your card does say. It says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. And when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. So I can definitely sense that your reading here is going, it's, it's going to be quite enlightening to you. I feel like you're going to find out some things that you have been wanting and wishing for here. That is my strong sensation. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are you manifesting to you right now? What are you manifesting to you right now? You have here the Four of Swords. I love the Four of Swords showing up. That's about communication. It's also about renewing your mind, body, and spirit allowing you to retreat. And so you are manifesting a vacation, a time to be alone, to be in solitude, to really align with who you are, to tap into the gifts that your higher self has to offer. And let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. What are you manifesting to you right now? Prosperity. So with prosperity, you are manifesting a prosperous business with riches and success. Spirit is encouraging you right now to continue to push forward, to continue to work on your dreams and your goals and to not give up because it is in your vortex to be very successful, to be very wealthy and prosperity and abundance is in alignment with the source because the universe is abundant. We see prosperity all around us with everything that the divine intelligence has created. And here with prosperity here, this is very nice for you to have your business being prosperous with riches and success continue to move forward. It is yours. I love the fact that you do have the prosperity energy along with your prosperity mindset here or with the four of swords. Again, the four of swords, it's about retreat, rest, renewal, solitude, and recovery. So it's really about you taking the time out to chill and relax, create Believe, and there you will see the growth, the fruit of your consciousness. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what are you attracting to you right now? What are you manifesting? Yes, the King of Pentacles. 
Thank you, Spirit. I love the King of Pentacles showing up for you, especially with the King of Pentacles showing up here directly under your prosperity card. Because the King of Pentacles, it is physical. Okay, it represents wealth. It represents money. So this is a very strong confirmation coming out back to back for you. Thank you, Spirit. Your reading is extremely accurate. And with the King of Pentacles, let me just say this. <laughs> you are manifesting a high vibrational divine masculine energy into your life. And he is solid. He's honest. He's loyal. He's practical. He is a leader. He is wise. And he is an investor. This king of pentacles is coming into your life. He's going to recognize your worth, your value. Because you have raised your standards. And the king of pentacles is on your vibrational energy. He has high standards as well. And you will know him by the fruits of his labor. He loves to work. He's very creative. And he's going to support you with your business as well. He's going to invest in you, not only financially, but he's going to invest into you emotionally. This is going to be a relationship of something you've always wanted. You've always wanted someone to believe in you the way you believe in you. And it's happening now. It is taking place. It is done. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. So what are you manifesting to you right now? What are you manifesting? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, my God. Divine abundance. Thank you, Spirit. It is such correlation and confirmation. I love this for you. This is amazing. And you deserve it. You know why? Because you have been so loyal to the source. You have been so faithful. You've been good to others. You've been very generous, very warm, very friendly. And no, you're not perfect. <laughs> and sometimes you want to call that person and curse them out, but you'll hold it and you'll say, it's not worth it. You know, I wish them well. People who have done you wrong, you've never taken revenge. And so this is why you are being rewarded here with divine abundance, with prosperity, for your business, riches, and success. You were born to align with love's will. <laughs> You're encouraged here to follow the tile and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance and not chase it. So that's just a clear guidance message here from spirit to Yes, continue to be creative and to work towards your goals, but feel creative, feel love, feel rich, feel generous, feel compassion, feel limitless and align with the source of prosperity and all will flow to you so easily and so nicely. Doors are open for you now. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more. What are you manifesting to you right now? Virgo. I love Virgo showing up. And Virgo could also be in your 10th house, the 10th house of career, simply because the prosperity energy did show up around your business with riches and success. Virgo is the alchemist here methodical, aligned here, energy, very ritualistic energy, very insightful, healthy energy. You are manifesting a more healthy body, mind, and spirit. Continue working out. Continue going out in nature. You are in perfect alignment with health. And also, your discernment is higher. Spirit is downloading you with the gift of discernment where you are not wasting your time with relationships, with haters, naysayers, and doubters. You have been downloaded here with discernment and what a beautiful spiritual gift to have because you can save your energy 
with being more pure, refined, and accurate as you do pinpoint your dreams and your goals and your relationship connections, whether they are romantic or platonic. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo is significant here in the birth chart. In the sun, moon, or rising signs, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. And your birth chart, or the birth chart, that is, that is in, in someone's birth chart, that is significant here, related to your career and your goals. What I do love about Virgo showing up is because it shows up here with the King of Pentacles. And the Pentacle energy is Earth energy as well. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So you're reading. It's accurate AF to say the least. Spirit is showing up and acknowledging here what you already know about yourself. You are a badass, okay? You are loving, warm, generous, and free. So continue to bask in the knowing that the universe is conspiring in your favor. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. What are you manifesting to you right now? Sensuality. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially with the King of Pentacles. Even more confirmation showing up here. You have the sensuality energy. Yes, this is where you, this is the frequency here of sensuality. It reminds you that as spirits in a human body, you are a sensual being experiencing joy and pleasure from the physical world through your senses. Through your eyes, the sense of touch, the sense of sight, the sense of smell, the sense of hearing. I love this for you. This really means that Spirit is blessing you in so many areas of your life, your relationships, a romantic partnership connection, your business, as well as your health. And you are just to simply align with the ideal and accept that it is yours and it is done. So group two, and this does conclude your reading and I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love your comments. And they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. Also, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That is how you can support the channel. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful Number three, welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what you are manifesting to you right now. What is the law of attraction bringing to you? It could be a relationship, romantic or platonic something to do with your finances, your career, or even a event. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video connection. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy. It's naturally drawn here to your card, representing the yellow glass crystal. I love this for you because yellow, it's a color associated with the sun and it symbolizes optimism, energy, joy, happiness, and friendship. And it may also stand for intellect. And on the contrary, Yellow, yellow can indicate jealousy, betrayal. But let's get more insight. Time. 
You are trying too hard. Give it time. <laughs> this is a clear message here from Spirit. I feel like this has something to do with a relationship connection and a clear message that Spirit is wanting you to let this energy go. Someone you may have been wanting to, you know, see, for instance, just get along with, to vibe with, to connect with, and it's not working out right now. You're encouraged to let it go with love. I am sensing that there's someone else that is coming into your life very soon. And with yellow here showing up, it's about optimism. I feel like this person is a very outgoing person as well. Yellow does represent the sun and the sun. It rules over the zodiac sign of Leo. So Leo is significant here in the reading in the sun, moon, or rising signs. The seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus in your birth chart or the birth charts of someone that plays a very important role in your reading today. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what are you manifesting to you right now? What are you manifesting to you? The three of coins. I love this for you. Thank you, Spirit. I love it because Spirit gave us that insight moments earlier about yellow representing happiness and friendship. <laughs> this is quite significant and extremely accurate, just starting out in your reading. Thank you, Spirit. So with the three of coins, it does represent a friendship, a new friendship, celebrations, a circle of support for you with something that you're interested in. I feel like you are wanting to join a group or you have joined a group, some a group of like-minded people, a group with positive energy. And this is going to work out for you really nicely because you're going to connect with someone in that group that is going to become a long-term friend, someone that you can depend on, someone that you will consider a BFF. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. So what are you connecting? What are you manifesting to you right now? I said connecting because I'm really sensing a very strong friendship connection for you. And it's new. It's unexpected. It's something out of the blue. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. What are you manifesting to you right now? Prosperity, a prosperous business with riches and success. So see, this is a nice correlation with the message that Spirit just gave us seconds earlier about a group. I feel like you're wanting to start a business or you have this business going. Spirit is encouraging you to keep going, to keep moving forward because your business is in the energy field of prosperity where you will gain richness, riches from your business and your business connections. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more. So what are you manifesting to you right now? What are you manifesting? The Knight of Pentacles. I love the Knight of Pentacles showing up for you, especially being that it lays naturally under here, your prosperity card, because the Knight of Pentacles is physical. It's earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo are significant here in the top placements of the birth chart, as well as the coin energy. That is Pentacle energy as well. So here with the Knight of Pentacles, you are manifesting a divine masculine energy into your life. And this Knight of Pentacles is a reliable person. He is patient and he is hard working. And he's going to be significant here with your business plans, with your career goals, and going to be very helpful. He's going to help take the burden and the load off of you. And it's going to feel like you're free flowing, like you're just creating and having fun with lots of abundance here in the area of business. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what are you manifesting to you right now? 
What are you manifesting to you right now? The moon. I love the moon showing up because the moon does represent feelings. It represents an emotional connection with someone. The moon does rule over the mother as well as the zodiac sign cancer. So cancer is significant here in the reading, whether it be the top placement of your birth chart or someone else here, as it does relate to the moon. I feel like spirit is downloading with you even greater instinct, that gut reaction to know who's for you and who's playing games. I feel like your intuition is getting a lot stronger here. You are embodying your femininity. And so here with that energy, it is giving you this more nurturing spirit where you are just wanting to take care of someone, whether it be a child or even a pet. You may adopt a pet, but there's something very nurturing about you. I feel like you are connecting here with your emotions with the Knight of Pentacles. Thank you, spirit. There's something significant with mother, the mother energy. And there's a positive vibration here around the mother or you um, being a mother. Yes, you may have been wondering, are you parenting? Are you a good parent? Will you be a good parent? And spirit is saying, absolutely, yes. Yes, you do. You have feelings. You're empathetic here. There's something going on with your day-to-day -day habits and you are making better choices and you are creating more healthy habits, especially around your emotions. You are not allowing people to drain you and to just step into your mind anytime that they want to. You are keeping your boundaries up and you are persistent and that's very healthy. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are you manifesting to you right now? Gratitude. I love this for you. I love this for you. It's a spiritual gift when you are grateful. When you are thankful for what you have, you attract more to be thankful for. And this is clear here that you are asking spirit with this message. Your heart is saying, fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. You are so mindful to be thankful. You are so mindful to acknowledge what you already have. And Spirit does recognize that. Spirit is so proud of you for being thankful. And so this is why you are blessed. This is why you are blessed with prosperity, a prosperous business with riches and success. That Knight of Pentacles, who's very patient, practical, and loyal to you, is going to assist you here with your business and I do see that that Knight of Pentacles, there may be a love romantic connection. There's definitely going to be um, energy in this relationship where your emotions are in sync with each other. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. What are you manifesting to you? Attraction. This is significant because we're speaking about the law of attraction. So your reading is accurate AF. Yes, extremely precise. Thank you, Spirit. I do want to point out here that with attraction, this is a significant answer here when it comes to your finances. Yes, the energy of attraction. It amplifies the qualities that attract and support you on your journey toward inner balance and harmony. So here it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful time for relationships for you. 
romantic hue with the Knight of Pentacles, platonic hue with the Three of Coins, friendship, a support group, and your money, your bag growing. You are in a beautiful alignment with the source energy because source is abundance, is prosperity. It is your birthright to have all that is given here for you and you are experiencing it. Just relax and know that it is yours. Know that it is done. Group three, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. And they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. Also, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It is how you can support. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.